Quarter-finals day at the Aegon Championships. Eight men vying for a place in the final four of one of the most prestigious events of the grass court season. Good afternoon. Following a week of shock exits, only three of those eight were seeds. And the first quarter-final featured the world number 17 and 34, Kevin Anderson and Guillermo Garcia Lopez. Anderson already had wins over Leighton Hewitt and Stan Wawrinka under his belt this week, and he was clearly brimming with confidence. Match points. Though Garcia Lopez remained in contention throughout the second, Anderson's all-court game was the stronger. Oh, and he's yeah, done it. And match. Terrific stuff. It was a difficult match. The pressure was off. He was expected to win. Six, seven, five. First set was very tight. A moment of magic from Anderson separated the two there. Definitely feels good. I feel uh, I'd be in this position sort of in the 500 categories before. Uh, but each tournament is unique and special. So uh, even though I have another tournament, you know, it feels good to do it here at Queen's. The second quarter final was contested by third seed Milos Ranić and seventh seed Gilles Simon. Ranić was bidding for a first grass court title of his career and all was going to plan in set number one. No. Nice idea first from set. Gilles Simon. Raonic. Set two was a different story though as Simon's guile began to prevail over Ranić's power. Lovely touch. Yeah. Simon finishes with a little flush. And the Frenchman continued to go from strength to strength. And after three gruelling sets, he'd booked himself a semi-final place and a meeting with another big server, Kevin Anderson. Simon's got it. <laughs> a huge win for the likeable Frenchman. Two hours and 17 minutes of terrific entertainment. This is part of the game, it's really hard, that's why it's a, it's a really hard performance to beat Milos. That's why uh, I was not able to, to make it before. And um, I'm just happy that I survived today and I know I will have a, a very tough one tomorrow. Top seed Andy Murray was next into the centre court hot seat and across the net was Gilles Muller, a man coached by former British player and Murray's good friend, Jamie Delgado. The first set was a struggle for Murray as Muller's power and serving prowess dominated proceedings. Well, that wasn't in the script yeah, for the British tennis season. fans here. A Scotsman was clinging on for dear life in the second, but once into a tiebreak, managed to move through the gears. Oh, yes! What a shot! Because it was a fantastic little volley from Muller at full stretch. But Murray again anticipated beautifully. And with the finish line in sight, the world number three then started to turn on the skill. Fantastic set of tennis that. After an hour and 56 minutes of battle, a relieved Andy Murray was into a fourth Queen's Club semi-final. That's it. That's a big win. He was severely tested in the opening couple of sets. I played a, a very good tie break and started to, to read his, his serve a little bit better towards the end of the second set and um, yeah, that, that really changed the match for me because I was able to get into more um, return games, started putting a bit more pressure on his serve and um, I served very well myself from the, the middle of the second set too. And Murray's opponent in that semi-final will be Stuttgart finalist Viktor Trojcki, the Serbian having upset John Isner in the final centre court match. Uh, yeah, that'll do nice. nicely. Trojcki. A couple of great matches back to back here in the Aegon Championships, but Viktor Trojcki. He's got to play well to beat Isner in straight sets on grass. So an intriguing semi-final lineup in store on Saturday.